Okay, so this is the last big topic in code.org. The last few sections will be on functions, which you did do last year. So for loops is the last new topic that some of you will, or maybe even many of you will do this year in coding. For loops are just a much more powerful form of loops as we learned with the for while loops that, oh, you know what? We can do other things with loops. It's not, they're just gonna go over, do it again and again and again this many times. So now we have the for, the for, these, these are just for loops because they will do them for a certain amount of times, but they can do them in intervals. What I mean by intervals is, well, you probably do skip counting or, you know, count by threes, count by fives, give me, you know, count by the even numbers, the odd numbers, or count down from one, uh, count down when you're like hide and seek, right? That's, that's, that's intervals. One, by, count by one, count by two, count by three, or decrease by those numbers or decrease by multiples of something. So there's, there, you can do all kinds of, of things in this. So you could increase by uh, math. You come up with math form formulas, and you'll have to do this uh, later on in the level. So it's not just increasing by or decreasing by certain um, regular pattern, or I should say regular interval. Uh, on this one, for example, we see that the flowers are all increasing by one, right? So instead of saying repeat, do is repeat block, well, say get one nectar, then a two nectars, then I use a repeat block to get three nectars and just get four nectars. We can just do this with a few lines. So since I see that the numbers are increasing by one, one, two, three, four, five, six, I know that I'm only counting by one. My numbers start, gonna start at one, and they're going to end at seven. So I need n by seven. So that's the basic loop you need in a for loop. What number is it starting at? What number is it ending at? And what are we counting by? Is it positive or negative, or is it a math formula or whatever? The for, the first thing is the variable that we're, we're using. So right now we're using counter, because it makes sense, because it's the counting variable. But you see, we could rename this or make a new variable. So in this, we're really just recording what number we're on every time through in that variable. So it's going to change. The first time we go through, the counter will be 1. The second time we go through, the counter will be 2. So every time, it'll, do, it'll go forward once, and then it'll repeat counter times, get the nectar. So on the first one, it will get 1. On the seventh one, it will get seven. So let's run that and see it work. So a really popular, po positive, and I should say really strong way to use code. A strong way, po powerful way to use loops because we, we're combining variables and intervals. Uh, the rest of these just go on a similar pattern. It's going to go be positive intervals, negative intervals. There'll start to be some math where you have to, because the intervals change, like they get larger as you go along or they decrease more as you go along. So mostly it's, you have to hark back to your math lessons and you're just going to have to figure out the formulas or the intervals, that they're count, whatever they're counting by. But as always, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, good luck on this level, and have fun. The, this level and the next are on for loops.